Well, it, it is that time of year, right? Where kids love to hop on those bikes and feel that freedom, feel that wind in their hair. Such a great feeling. Yeah. And an organization in Walworth County is bringing back memories of that childhood pleasure for the elderly and people with Alzheimer's and dementia. And for this husband and wife team, it's a family affair. Oh, there you go. The adventure begins with the click of a buckle and the push of a pedal. How you guys doing up there? Okay. Pilot John Newman in the driver's seat. We get to go up a little hill and then down a little hill. He's aiming to inspire moments like this. I feel like I'm driving again. <laughs> Getting the wind blowing in their hair and sun shining on their face. These enthusiastic riders. It was wonderful. Are all residents at Arbor Village of Geneva Crossing in Lake Geneva. Eric Russo. Well, this is our third year. And his wife, Bernadette. Well, sometimes I turn very quickly and wipe the tears. Bring these bikes here through their chapter of Cycling Without Age. First year, we gave about 400 rides. Last year, we gave about 700 rides. This year, we're planning on over 1,400 rides. The program's growing popularity, a testament to its mission. Getting the people out of the isolation, breaking the boredom for them, you know, makes just such a huge difference. The Russos have been married 57 years. This just gives me something to keep me out of Bernadette's hair. <laughs> Joking aside, it's a personal project for the couple who cared for Bernadette's father, who had Alzheimer's. She says the rides have big results. First of all, it gives them back their memory. How do you like it so far? And that's what Newman sees. You just sit and talk with them and you learn their story, you share a little bit of your story with them. A simple way to keep life moving. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, One ride at a time. And this is just a slow way of saying thank you for everything you've ever done. Glad you enjoyed it. You're welcome. Well, and to get to those 1,400 rides this year, they're upgrading from two bikes to four and eventually oh, would like to have six so they can take more people out. And uh, so cool. they're looking for new drivers and other volunteers, too. So We mentioned at the top that kids love jumping on the bikes oh, to feel the wind in their hair, but then you see these little glimpses while you're watching that of almost them flashing back and feeling like a kid again, right? Yes, and that is fully the mission, to just bring back those memories sure. and to, to remind people. So it was yeah. fun to take a ride along with them. It was really, really cute. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, thank you very much. And if you'd like to nominate an everyday hero, go ahead and send me a message. And the Brewers hope to end 